In this video, I will explain what's inside the London Bridge music puzzle. For this puzzle, you'll take these seven tunes and you will arrange them in any order you want them to be in and you're going to accompany them with harmonic patterns that fit any one of these songs. As this graphic shows, each song will be performed by a different instrument, a collection of instruments, so that you have many different choices to make. It may be that you want to begin with Go Tell Aunt Rhody, played on one instrument, followed by the Itsy Bitsy Spider, played on a completely different instrument. Or it could be all the same instrument. Then you're going to choose an accompaniment, a harmonic pattern, to pair with the melody. And it can be one of many, many different choices. All the harmony patterns work with all the melodies. It could be that you want London Bridge played twice by the same instrument. Then Mary Had a Little Lamb, and then London Bridge two more times with two different instruments. The choice is yours. The possibilities are not endless because we can calculate that. Then, as in the previous slide, choosing harmonies, interludes, and make it your own. When you open the zip file, this is what you're going to see. You'll have the Audacity file with the data file, and then Open Me First, which is instructions, although there are videos, as you're watching now, then the Share folder, where you can put all of your creations, and then there are the sounds. Let's dive deeper into the Sounds folder. When you open the Sounds folder, this is what you'll see. Let's look at the Intro Interlude folder. Each of the introductions can also serve as an interlude between melodies. The choice is yours. Then we have the Harmony folder. Look at all the different harmonies. It's the same harmonic structure, different instruments, different rhythmic patterns. You choose what sounds best. They're about nine seconds long because the melodies are about nine seconds long. Then there are codas, and they range from nine seconds to 20 seconds, depending on what you want. One of the tunes is Go Tell Aunt Rudy, and each one is about nine seconds long. Look at what I've circled here. Each one of the melodies is in a major mode and a minor mode. You can choose how you want the tune to sound. You make the choice. London Bridge, look at all the different instruments here. Again, major and minor, nine seconds long. Mary Had a Little Lamb, all of these different instruments, major and minor. Wake Up You Lazy Bones, not as well known as the others. It still uses the same harmonic structure as all the other tunes. Some of the songs are not nine seconds long. Down by the Bay is one of those songs. It's 18 seconds. It's twice as long as the normal song. You can see the three different instruments available for this particular song, major and minor. When you use one of these 18 second songs, you need to have two harmonic patterns, one after the other. It's a two to one relation, one melody, two harmonies end to end, 18 seconds. Makes sense. If there's a plus sign, there is a pickup note. Itsy Bitsy Spider is not the way it goes. It goes the Itsy Bitsy. So the Itsy has to be accounted. The of the Itsy has to be accounted for, and that's called a pickup. If it has a plus sign, it has a pickup. And I will create another video that helps you understand how to work with that extra sound. It's 18 seconds long, meaning there's two harmonies to the one melody. Wheels on the bus. Wheels on the bus has a pickup note. It's not wheels on the bus go round, it's the wheels. The is a pickup note and it needs to be accounted for. The tune is nine seconds long, as you can see. Now let's look at the Audacity file. When you open it up, this is the template that you're given. At the very top, there's instructions intended to help you recall what you are to do. The bottom track is a template of where you line up different things, the intro, the tune, the interlude, the tune, and so on, 
to the end, which is a coda. Most of the time we end with a coda and it's about two minutes long. However, it doesn't have to be two minutes long. It can be as long as you want to make it. It can be 30 seconds long or 30 minutes long. It's up to you. The point of this puzzle and all music puzzles is to experiment, explore, play around with color, instrumental color. Everything does not have to sound like a piano. Choose instruments that sound good to you. Harmonize them and accompany them with instruments that sound good together. You can find this puzzle at Dr. Mark's studio at Teachers Pay Teachers. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Dr. Mark Studio. Thank you for spending a little time with me. I hope you download the file. I hope that you enjoy making music with it and sharing it with your friends and family because today is the best day ever to make music. Take care. Bye-bye.